Hi, I'm Michael Lamonico, and today I'm going to make one of my favorite pasta dishes for you. This is pasta alla gricia. Now, everybody knows cacio pepe. It's very popular. Cacio pepe is cheese and pepper, but pasta alla gricia is almost the same, except it has guanciale in it, which is a, a, a cured pork jowl. I don't have any of that. I have no guanciale, but I do have bacon. So let me, let me take some bacon. This is a, a beautiful single smoke cured bacon, and I'm going to substitute the bacon for the guanciale. We're going to make this with mezza rigatoni, cheese, uh, the cheese is a Parmesan or, or really a, 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 a Romano cheese, which would be really even better. Into the pan, hot pan. Let's cook the bacon. That'll take about nine, 10 minutes to cook. And as that's cooking, I'm gonna add some pasta to my pot. Let's get some salt in there. Not too much because the bacon is salty. Let's get the bacon cooking nice. We're gonna cook the bacon until it's a beautiful golden brown. I'm gonna put two cups of pasta in. All right. A nice imported, just a little bit extra just for the pot. We'll let that cook. We'll let the bacon cook, and then we'll get back when they're both at the right cook temperature. So that's great. The bacon is beautiful. I just turned it off. The pasta is just about finished. So let's let's check the pasta. Yeah, I better have a wooden spoon. Let's go with the wooden spoon. All right, pasta's good. Let's turn the pasta off. So now, the bacon is cooling. I'm going to put a little water in here. That's all right. This is this is the pasta cooking water, and I'm going to turn the heat back up. And we want the pasta cooking water because it has the starch of the pasta, and that's how we can begin to turn this into a sauce. We're going to let that reduce a little bit, which is doing really well right now. You can see how that's reducing. We're going to let that turns into our sauce, especially when we add some of our cheese to it. This is Pecorino Romano. I called it Romano before, but Pecorino Romano is the cheese you want. Pecorino is the cheese you want for Cacio Pepe and for this Pasta Alla Gricia. And we make sure that we stir that in. And it gets, it's going to get creamy on us. That's really what we're looking for. It starts to create a creamy sauce. Let's let that reduce for a minute. Okay, that's beautiful. All right, so there's our, there's our bacon. Instead of guanciale, I have bacon, and it has a little bit of the pasta water and the cheese reduced. Now I'm gonna put my black pepper in. Now I love this as a peppery dish, so I'm, I'm kind of going nuts with the pepper. You can modulate it if you want, but the trick is, is really to stir this so it becomes almost like an emulsified sauce as the cheese melts in the pasta water. And I cook the pasta al dente, but there's just a, a little bit of cooking room left on this pasta. I'm gonna add it to this dish, uh, right into the pan, and the pasta now cooks in the pan with the sauce, which is what you really wanna do with all of your pastas. Finish your pastas in a pan with whatever sauce you're doing, tomato sauce, anything. It really is the best way, especially if you get a little bit of the pasta water in there. It's how you get the kind of, not only the most authentic, but it's how you turn a simple pasta sauce into a real pasta sauce, that little bit of starch from the water. And look, we're there. Okay, look at that, looks great looks great and now that is pasta alla gricia 
You see? You see how the sauce is clinging to the pasta? That's why you want the imported Italian pasta, because especially if it's made with the bronze dyes, that's what you're really looking for, that it's been pressed through bronze dyes. The bronze dyes creates a, 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 a texture on the pasta, and that texture holds the sauce to the pasta. The pasta. It's, really, it's really what you want. And here we are, pasta alla gricia. Oh, this is one of my favorites. This is the taste of Rome. And this is one of my favorite Roman dishes. Pasta alla gricia. And if you like, a little more Pecorino Romano on the top to finish it. Beautiful. Pasta alla gricia. Buon appetito!